Hey guys, welcome back to another session of What is Microsoft? And today we're going to go over Microsoft Learn. And what I believe is probably the best learning platform out of any of the big partners in global technology. Microsoft has almost a million different modules, as they call them, for learning. And then they have dozens of different certifications that are valuable in the job market. But what we're going to go over today is how to customize your learning path of Microsoft to your own values and what your interests are. So let me go ahead and show you. So right now we're logged into Microsoft Learn and under the training part of Microsoft Learn, you have the option of your homepage. On my homepage, you can see some recent modules I've accessed and you'll also see the options to browse learning paths or customize your path. And also on that page, you'll see what level you are, how much XP you have, which is you know how much modules you've completed. And you can also go to your icon page and go to profile settings to do some other things. Right now, let's go customize your path and some roles you were interested in, right? So you have the ability to choose a role and it'll spit out modules based on that role. So you have administrator, artificial intelligence, edge engineer, artificial intelligence engineer, auditor, app maker, business owner, business user, data analyst, business analyst, business owner, business user, data scientist, data engineer, database administrator, developer, DevOps, functional consultant, higher education, identity and access, information protection, K-12, network engineer, if you're a parent, privacy manager, risk practitioner, school leader, security engineer, security ops, or service adoption specialist, student, a startup founder, a solutions architect, a support engineer, or technology manager. So one role that in particular has kind of interested me throughout my life where I've made a lot of my time and growth in is identity access. So let's go through that. So we're going to click identity access. And we're going to click next. Uh, what level are we at? Beginner and re advanced. Let's go beginner. Let's see what module we have for a beginner level. We're going to go next. Then we get to choose products. So some products I'm interested in overall. Let's go. So we have some integrations with Azure, the new Bing, 365, Intune. Authentication sounds like I should know it. Endpoint manager, Entra, Graph. We'll start there and just see what we get. Next. So now we can get automated, automated recommendations. Let's browse our recommendations. So we have oh, concepts behind Microsoft Entra Verified ID, introduction to Entra Permissions Management, we also have building people success habits, protecting virtual machine settings, introduction to Azure VMware solutions. So we have all kinds of different ones that are just based on my interests. So I think one that I will do, and maybe in a live stream later this week, we can do introduction to Entre permissions management. So I'll add that right then to a collection. It brings up the new collection page. And I'm going to make a new collection and we're going to name it Dylan's Haunter Journey. What's cool though is you can also make them publicly viewable and share them directly with people. So if anything ever you know interests you or you feel like you really learned a lot towards it, like maybe a certification, you can share that, that whole collection publicly and make it available to other users for their own journey. So I'm going to submit that and I'm going to add it to that collection. I only want it as part of that journey. I don't want it in my favorites. We're going to save. So now you, we've gone through what is Microsoft, a little bit about what is Microsoft Learn, a little bit about how to customize our own recommendations, and we've added something to a collection. So until next time, that 